friends at home. Ah, a couple little things to put on the video world here. Um, this idea keeps coming up with the different dummy arm heights. And you know, the Shaolin wooden dummy hole uh, was fictional, so you do it however you want. But that, you know, there was 108 dummies and they each were different and each one was a different Kung Fu application in, in the fantasy or if it was real. So, you know, the arms can be however you want. I'm not saying you're wrong to do it that way. But I will say, what you're saying about why you do something don't sound right, because I don't want to say you're wrong. I want to help you say it better, okay? I'm not saying you're wrong when you're wrong. I'm saying I want to help you say what you're saying better, because you're probably right. You're just saying it wrong. So one of the things is this idea that I'm going to punch Isaiah up in his face, right? So my punch is there up here, right? Yeah. So there's no, re you guys sound like you're saying there's no reason to defend anything in this space at all because punches are gonna hit me in the face. So you're like, I'm gonna put things up here in front of my face to protect it, right? But I'm saying like, if Isaiah brings his hands up to get to my face, so do that again. Put your hand out by your pocket, Isaiah, and bring it up to my face. It goes through what space? It goes through all this space. Right? And so if I have to bring my hands up, they're going to intersect like this towards my face, right? I can move it out of the way. He's stronger than me, right? So I can guide where it goes as I weakly defend because I'm less strong, right? So that's part of this principle here that we're going to be in this kind of position first. We're going to intersect down here. But next up, I can't punch him. Even if I'm up here like this, I can't punch him without going through this space right here. Cannot punch him without going through this space right here. Like, unless I'm fighting like this, right? And if you're fighting like this, good for you. Keep it up, right? But I don't think so. I think you're gonna be like this, right? So if Isaiah throws some jabs in the air, Isaiah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are gonna fucking hurt. For demos, don't do them that hard, Isaiah. The idea is I'm going to come right into here and meet with them somewhere in here. All right. Take your hands away again. So here is that static place in space. All right. Take your hands away again. So here is that static place in space. Also, I'm not waiting here for those things to happen. I'm doing them to him too. So I'll do some in the air to Isaiah. Don't move Isaiah, sit up. So mine going out in slow motion, his going out, you come out too in slow motion, they're gonna intersect. Keep it up, my dude. Okay. So that's what we're training for. All right, next up on this thing that keeps coming up over and over and over, the dummy arms are way up here, and so you're doing the proper contact way up here on the dummy arm. Here, get that, that really good punch. Right, so I've got my dummy arm way up here because Isaiah's hitting me in the face, right? Does that look right to you? Because he's hitting me in the face, so it's got to be up here, right? But look where the contact is. So if the contact is there, right, I better be stopping him way out here. Right? I'm not going to stop this. I'm not going to stop this. Isaiah, push into that. That's not gonna, who are you kidding? Where you finally do your, your woo sow damn, we'll throw that up there, Isaiah. You put a tan sow up, I mean, come on, that's a tan sow, dude. You have some knob put up a video where they were calling, do that again, Isaiah. They were calling this a, a, a woo sow. I would say that's the worst tan sow and I would give them a correction to do that, right? I would say if you put a tan sow up like that, then, right? You do the woo, right, boom. Oh. That's a terrible tan sow. You have this part right though, Sifu. So if you rotate it around, I think what you're trying to say is, bah! He would have hit me with that too. Hopefully this is doing its work. Next up, the hand thing. If the hand can go like this, that means the whole arm can do that. Don't believe me, believe Pavel with the RKC kettlebell stuff. Radiation means when I flex my fingers, my arm gets stronger. My fingers are soft, my arm is soft. So when I go like this, I hope it's extending in there for strength, but 
As you demonstrate, you extend outward to make that strength. So you show like when you preach how cool it looks when you do this, right? And that's pretty good. But then when you finally demo it for real quick, it has that bend in it. Because you know you want to do this. Punching, bah. So that bend is inside the punch. So when we do our cross tan sow with or without the flattened palm, we make our fists, we're demonstrating this wedge shape from chain punching. So this is totally a use for this. And when I do that and I put it with this, Isaiah gives me either low attack. I don't know what's going to come out. But I do the other one just so I stay the same, Isaiah. Whatever he does, he can alternate them. So this first move of the form combines...